Greetings, health scholars, and welcome back to the For Health Scholars channel. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Dr. Arubasa, and on this channel, I show current and aspiring healthcare professionals how to, one, quickly and successfully earn their degrees, and two, how to start, build, and enjoy profitable careers within the business side of the healthcare industry. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notifications. I promise you don't want to miss out. Now, today's conversation is all about reviewing dual degree master's programs. And specifically, we're going to talk about the master's programs that relate to the business side of the healthcare industry. And so I've received some questions in the comment section about people asking me about my recommendations for a master's programs or whether they should do it MHA or MPH. They're kind of undecisive in that area. And so I hope today's video will give you some clarity and insight on how to make a very informed decision on your next steps should you be interested in acquiring a master's degree. But before I jump into the conversation for today, here's a few words from our sponsor. Do note that today's episode is sponsored by my course, which is titled From Healthcare Graduate to Hired. I'm so proud of this course, and I know that this is the course that you need if you are an active job seeker wanting to acquire a job in the healthcare space, particularly a non-clinical healthcare job. In this course, I walk you through my five-step strategy on how to go from active job seeker to hired, as well as I talk about things that people are not necessarily sharing with you on how to acquire a job in a digital era because right now we are in a digital era and many people when you're looking for jobs you're looking for these healthcare jobs online so how do you navigate that process so that it is successful in helping you getting hired also in the course you get a chance to work with me and the other students in the course i review your resume other job hunting documents we work together on creating your personalized job hunting plan because once again the ultimate goal is to get hired so definitely check out the course you can sign up by accessing the link in the description box, and I look forward to seeing you on the other side. All right, so we are back, and as I stated, today's conversation is all about doing a comprehensive review of different types of universities that offer dual degree master's program. Specifically, I'm going to talk about dual degree programs as it relates to the MBA, MPH, or MBA, MHA, MHA, or NPH programs. And so if you are undecisive about which path you want to go to, maybe you have multiple interests, you're interested in public health, but you also want to learn about the business of healthcare, then by the end of this video, I promise to give you some clarity about how, which direction you can potentially choose. But do note, I do not work for or endorse any of the universities that I talk about in today's video. I'm really just providing this information to give you a little more insight of what type of programs that are out there. But as a Health Scholars community member, you know that I always encourage you to do your own research and and come to your own decision. So use this information at your own discretion. Okay, so let's talk about it. What are dual advanced degree programs, aka dual master degree programs? Well, these are programs that allows you to acquire two degrees at the same time. So whether you're doing an MBA, MHA program or MHA, MPH program, this allows you as a dual degree student to get the best of both worlds from the different two types of backgrounds at once. And so dual degree programs are amazing, but before you determine whether you should enroll into a dual degree program, I always tell you to explore the pros and cons. Now, some of the pros of completing a dual degree program is that, of course, you gain enhanced knowledge and skill sets. Also, you potentially can save time and program costs, and um, you become more qualified for more career opportunities, which that is one of the leading reasons why many individuals go to school and then get a graduate degree in the first place. And then there are ample opportunities for networking. And in the last video that I posted, I talked about how you can build a profitable network as a non-clinical healthcare professional. It is imperative in this stage of the game. It is really not an option. And if you build a profitable network, then you'll find that getting employment opportunities 
opportunities and other types of opportunities in the healthcare space, whether you want to present at a conference, whether you want to speak publicly about the a issue that you've learned about in great detail and, and wanting to become an advocate for in the business side of the healthcare industry, networking can help you with that. Now, the pros of completing a dual degree program is that it has an increased workload and stress. So think about it. You're doing two degree programs at once. And then potentially there's an increased cost and time. So sometimes it may be financially beneficial to do two programs at once, but then other times it can be more expensive. And I do review costs in the universities that I talk about today. So that kind of give you an idea of what is the price point for completing a dual program. So that can also serve as a con and then reduce flexibility. And so imagine you're doing two degree programs at one time and the amount of work that you need to complete may not allow you to have the flexibility to do other things at that given moment. So these are all things that you should take into consideration. So now that we talked about some of the pros and cons, let's look at the universities that I'm going to talk about in detail today. So the first university that I'm going to go over is the University of Washington's dual degree program. Then I'll go over the University of California, Yale University, Columbia University, Emory University, and Missouri State University. Now, once again, all of the universities that I talk about today are based in the U.S. And so we do have some international students and international professionals that watch in. So this could be helpful to you. And then I also know that we have clinical professionals who are very much interested in going into the business of healthcare. They're joining the community. So I welcome you with open arms and tell you that definitely watch what you need and go out there and be the best <laughs> non-clinical professional that you can be. All right, so let's get into it. So the first university is the University of Washington, and they do offer a dual MHA MBA program. So a master's in healthcare administration and a master's in business administration program. Now, the University of Washington is based in Seattle, Washington, not Washington, D.C., so keep that in mind. Now, they have ranked number 16 according to the U.S. News and World Report, specifically their Masters of Healthcare Administration program. And so the dual program falls under their MHA department. Now, just a little bit about their dual program. So they stated um, verbatim from their website is that the MHA MBA concurrent degree program is designed to build on the content areas shared by the business and healthcare administration disciplines. And then students who do attend this program at the University of Washington, they are taking courses in both the Department of Health Systems and Population Health under their Foster School of Business. So keep that in mind. Now, what are some of the admissions requirements? So, of course, in order to acquire a master's degree here in the U.S., you must have a bachelor's degree already secured. So graduate and have the official transcripts shipped to their university should you decide to apply. They're also required for all enrollees to have at least a 3.0 or higher GPA. So the good thing I learned about this university at the moment, they're not requiring any GRE or GMAT scores. So that is great. And they're accredited by the Northwest Commission of Colleges and Universities. And so if you've been following the channel for a while, you know that I talk about accreditation and you really want to make sure that you go to a university that is accredited and their degree programs are also accredited because sometimes you can go to a university and the university is accredited, but their department or that specific degree hasn't acquired accreditation yet. And accreditation is really important. If you're not sure why accreditation is important, it just gives validity to your degree and it can be recognized pretty much globally for the most part. And so you really want to make sure that the program that you're enrolling in is accredited. And once again, the university is accredited. And in this case, the University of Washington, their MBA, MHA dual degree program is accredited by the Northwest Commission on Colleges and Universities. In your application, they're going to require you to submit a resume, some writing samples, and at least three letters of recommendations from what I saw. Now, some additional information that you should know, 
the application is completed online and they do accept international students. So once again, for our community members who are based outside of the U.S. and are interested in acquiring a degree in the U.S., this could potentially be an option for you. Now, cost. I know that's a big one. And so based on what I found, it costs roughly about $899 per credit to do their dual degree program. And most courses are equivalent to three credits. So do $8.99 times three. And um, their tuition per semester is about $68,000 or higher per year. So it's quite costly. Now, I do see that the university offers financial aid and scholarships to help alleviate the cost, especially if you are a student who has some like income-based needs, then that potentially can be an option that you explore with their financial aid department. But it is kind of costly to take a dual degree program at this university. But think about it, you're getting two degrees at once. So it kind of makes sense on why the cost can be a little bit high. Now, the next university is the University of California. Specifically, I'm reviewing their dual MPH MBA program. And I have to say this, that in my research, there were more universities that offered an MPH MBA dual program versus universities that offered a dual MHA MBA program or a dual MAH and MPH program. Now, I did find a one or two, but it's not popular for the Masters of Healthcare Administration uh, degree. So you got to keep that in mind. If you want to do a dual program, there are more dual MBA and PH programs versus MHA and the other types of degrees like an MBA associated or MPH. So keep that in mind. And so the University of California, they offer the dual MPH, MBA program, and this is located in Berkeley, California. Now, they ranked number nine in their business program with the U.S. News and World Report. And just a little overview about their program. They stated that their MBA and PH program provides a deep competency in business administration integrated with knowledge of health policy and management and other healthcare concepts. So you do get some of the healthcare administration side in this program, but it's just not titled healthcare administration. So that was one of the reasons why I selected to review. Um, you're at the end of the day, when you graduate, you will just get an MBA and PH degree, but you tap into healthcare policy and management. So if you're a healthcare administration professional, this still could be a viable option for you because they do tap into the management and policy side. They also explored a wide range of interests, including global health, entrepreneurship and startups, biotech and med tech, and um, managed care and payer initiatives, as well as social impact, right? So this may be a potentially good option for you. Now, their admissions requirements are a little different than the University of Washington. One distinct difference is that they require you to have at least five years of post-baccalaureate work experience. So meaning that once you have graduated from your bachelor's degree program, did you go into the field and work? Or while you were enrolled in your bachelor's degree program, were you also working in the field? And so I saw that in order to enroll in the University of California's dual degree program, you have to have at least five years of work experience. So one of the ways to combat that as an undergraduate student who is watching this program, or if you graduated, but you're looking for a master's in missions, is to try to get some type of work experience under your belt. So you can do an internship. Fellowships are amazing because fellowships are paid type of internships, and it gives you a little more versatility and what skill sets you will acquire. I'm also seeking mentorship that can allow you to just gain work experience or just get a job in the field. So those are just some of the ways to acquire that work experience, but it is a mandate with them before you can even enroll in their program. Now, their program takes about two and a half years to complete, and they only accept 20 students per year. So they're really selective in who enrolls in their program, and they don't take a lot of students at a time. Now, the program has been around for over 35 years, and they hold an accreditation from the Advanced Collegiate Schools of Business, so the AACSB, which is a very common accrediting board for the business schools. So even if it's not in healthcare administration, just business administration, this is one of the premier accrediting bodies. Now, some additional information that you need to note, and so 
this university does require you to have either a GMAT score or a GRE score. You need to submit that as well as they have some essays that you have to submit with your application. They're only requiring two letters of recommendations as well as you to submit your resume, of course, because they are looking to see if you have at least five years of work experience. Now, when it came to cost of the program, they divided it by in-state versus out-state. So their in-state tuition, so meaning if you are a resident of California, your tuition will roughly be about $67,000 per year. It could be higher. It could be less. So you always just talk with the financial aid department and they can assist you. Then if you are an out-of-state student coming to this university, the tuition is a little higher and it's about $76,000 per year. It'd be higher. It could be lower. They do have an application fee of $200 and you have to have health insurance, which for most master's degree programs, especially if you're going on campus, they require you to have some type of health insurance. So that's not nothing new, but it was one of the key requirements that I saw that they had listed. So you need to have health insurance and they do offer scholarships and financial aid for those who need some additional funding or all funding to attend their program. So the next university is Yale University, and Yale is considered an Ivy League school. They do have an accelerated MBA and PH program, and Yale University is based in New Haven, Connecticut. Their, their program, particularly under the business school, ranked at number eight, with the U.S. News and World Report and their public health program ranked as number 11. So keep that in mind. So with the U.S. News and World Report, they rank the school in their entirety, and then they individually rank the different types of degrees that they offer. So just kind of give you some understanding on how to interpret the metric that you see here. Now, a little bit about their program, based on what I saw from their website, it, they state that this is an innovative program and it's the first of its kind in the United States. I'm assuming the accelerated aspect of it because there are many MBA and PH programs, but the accelerated aspects of it maybe is first of a kind. They're advertising that you could potentially get this dual degree in just about 22 months, so a little less than two years, which can be beneficial to you. They said that it is an intensive study at the Yale School of Public Health and the Yale School of Management. So there are two departments working to provide this dual degree program. Should you be a qualified candidate, you are expected to complete the core coursework in management and public health, as well as providing your insight and knowledge to become one of the leaders in the healthcare organizations globally. So what are their admissions requirements? So once again, they highlight that you can finish your program in less than two years, which some of the other programs that I talked about, it's two years for the University of Washington and the University of California is two and a half years. So this is a little shorter. As of to date, they're not requiring you to submit your GRE or GMAT scores. So it was waived for the 2023 school year. They may incept it into the 2024 school year. They may keep it as waived. So just double check with them. Of course, you need to have your bachelor's degree and they're also requiring it for you to have at least five years of work experience before applying to the program. But once again, if you really want to go to your university, mm -hmm. just talk with an admissions counselor and financial aid. They can help you. In addition to their admissions application, they want you to submit your resume as well as a statement of purpose. And their program is accredited by the AACSB, which is one of the common accreditations for business schools. Some, some additional information that you should know, you have to have at least a 3.0 GPA at the undergraduate level, and they are also requiring three letters of recommendation. Now, their fee structure for their program was a little unique. I didn't see this with any other school. And so they have a two-tier fee structure. So in your first year of this dual degree program, the tuition is roughly about $95,000 per year, and, or it could be higher, it can be a little lower. And then year two, the tuition come down a little bit, and but it's still quite high and it's about $82,000 plus per year. Now, Yale University does offer scholarships and financial aid. So do explore all funding options before you make a decision, because we know by now that formalized degree programs can be expensive.
All right, the next university, which is Columbia University, and this is also considered another Ivy League university in the U.S., and I have done some work with Columbia University, have spoken at their facilities, talked to their students in the public health side, and so um, I'm really familiar with their program. They do offer a dual MBA and PH program, and Columbia University is based in New York, New York, so Manhattan, New York. Now, their program ranked number 11, according to the U.S. News and World Report, and a little bit of about what their program is all about. They said that their dual degree program is under their Columbia Business School and Columbia Mailman School of Public Health, and this program is really designed to provide you as a student with training in the business fundamentals with exposure to the field of public health. And so as a student, you'll be able to complete the program in other departments within the Mail School of Public Health. And and the information that they share with you also address health policy and management. So if you are a professional who's very much interested in the business of healthcare, you don't want to do an MBA, you have an interest for an MHA, but you want to go to Columbia University, you can still do this dual degree program because they're going to touch on health policy and management, which the MHA degree program really focuses on. It focuses on business fundamentals, management, and policy in healthcare. And so this could potentially be an option and you get the best of all three worlds and for two degrees at one time. <laughs> so uh, keep that in mind. And uh, once again, as I stated, Columbia University is considered a premier university in the U.S. And in order to enroll in their program, you do need to have your GMAT or GRE scores. The program is two years long. They are required for you to write four admission essays. And so just keep that in mind. You need two letters of recommendations. They do accept international students and their program is accredited by the Middle States Commission for Higher Education. So that is great. Some additional information that you need to know should you be interested in Columbia's dual program is that in order for you to start in January 2024, you need to submit all of your application details by September 2023, which this is normal for many universities. Before you can start your program, you have applied at least a year in advance. So that's normal. Some schools don't offer that, but many do. Now, the cost for this dual program at Columbia University, from what I saw, they charge roughly about $1,211 or higher per credit. And most graduate courses are at least three credits. Sometimes it can be six, sometimes it can be four. When you see a six credit graduate course, that's usually like your internship or externship with the degree program. But on average, many of the courses that you take are in consistent of three credits at a time. So just do this number times three, but I saw that they offer scholarships and financial aid. So do just explore all options before you make a decision to apply. Now, the next school is Emory University, and they do offer a dual MBA and PH program, and Emory University is located in Atlanta, Georgia. You may have heard of Emory University. Atlanta houses Emory, but they also houses the CDC headquarters, and so this is a phenomenal opportunity should you be really invested in the business as well as the public health side of the healthcare industry. Now, their program ranked number 17, according to the U.S. News and World Report. Now, just a little bit about their program from what I've gathered from their website. It is a dual program in public health and business administration in which they state that you'll gain skills and knowledge to effectively lead and manage public health systems and programs. They also state that you will explore and touch upon health policy issues and you will be trained to work in health programs and issues such as policy and funding. You can become a healthcare consultant and advise clients on key aspects of managing enterprise such as performance improvement, transactions and crises and clinic consultation. So this is really good. And um, the strategy that they offer you will allow you to just investigate multiple sectors under the business umbrella in healthcare. So that's what I've gathered from their website. Now, there are admissions requirements. So 
you must apply to both their MBA and MPH program in order to be enrolled in a dual program. So this is a little different than the previous schools that I've discussed. With Emory, they tell you that you initially are going to be submitting two applications. The first application to their business school, the second application to their public health school. And based on whether you get accepted for both, that is how they will determine to enroll you into the dual degree program. Now, you do also need to submit either your GRE test scores or GMAT test scores. They stated that should you get accepted, it take you about two years to complete the program, but they require you also to do some post-baccalaureate work, so meaning that you have worked in the field during your undergraduate days or post-graduating from your undergraduate degree program, you went into the field to work. And the reason why I personally believe many universities ask you to come in with this work experience because of the type of degree that you're acquiring. So when you get to graduate studies, it's not teaching you per se how the industry runs from a entry level. When you get into these graduate school programs, they're expecting you to have some world insight already on the operations or the business and policy of public health issues and gain that practical experience, which you will now use when you're writing your thesis and you're doing your internship. So if they require you to do an internship. So they want you to come in with some knowledge. They're expecting you to have that in the field experience and how you can contribute that into solving problems. So Keep that in mind. Okay, in addition to the work experience, you have to submit essays, and their program is accredited by two accrediting boards, of course, because with this school, you have to apply to their business school as well as their public health school. And so their public health program, it is accredited by the Council on Education for Public Health, which is, this is another popular accrediting board for the public health schools, as well as their business program is accredited by the Southern Association of Colleges and School Commission. Now, some additional information that you should know is that they do accept international students, but you must complete both applications online. Now, their cost to attend Emory University to do their dual degree program is roughly about $31,000 per semester. And from what I saw, it, you, in order to do a complete year, at their graduate level with them, it's two semesters. So do 31,000 times two. So what, that's $62,000 per year. So it is a bit pricey, but think about it. You're getting two degrees at once. All right. And make sure that when you are making a decision that you also are factoring in the cost and how you're going to pay for these programs. Unless you apply for scholarships or funding, the out-of-pocket expense is definitely expected for you to pay. So keep that in mind. And I would hate this is something I really would hate, and it has happened to students that I have taught where they've gotten removed from the course or they had to drop the university because they no longer could afford it. So you don't want to run into that because you put your time, your energy, you have exhausted your mind a little bit just getting your coursework done that you want to make sure you see your program through to the finish line. So make sure that funding is a very much a part of the decision when you're determining whether a dual degree program program is right for you and then what type of dual degree program you will complete. Okay, the next program is the Missouri State University program and they offer a dual MHA MPH program. So I really try to look very hard for universities that offer this type of dual degree where they're doing the Masters of Healthcare Administration and the Masters of Public Health. There are not many universities that are doing dual MHA programs with either MPH or MBA. But fortunately, with my research, I found that Missouri State University offer it and their university is based in Springfield, Missouri. Now, their program ranked 150, according to the U.S. News and World Report, so under their public health department, so keep that in mind. And just to give you a little overview about their program, they stated that students who attend their dual degree in healthcare administration and public health at their university, they have the opportunity to explore both sides, the business and public health sectors, and you would get two degrees. So you would get the MHA degree as well as your MPH degree. Um, a total of 12 hours of your coursework can be applied to both programs, reducing the time required to obtain both degrees separately. So now, what are their admissions? 
admissions requirements. So they do require you to either submit your GRE scores or GMAT scores. You must have a bachelor's degree. It takes about two years for completion from what I saw in their program. They stated up front that you will have to do a field internship, which is amazing. Yes, you won't get paid for that because you're earning course credit, but Here's the networking aspect. You can leverage your experience and your internship to make solid connections. So when you graduate, you are offered a job opportunity. And then their program is accredited by the Council of Education for Public Health. So, so once again, the CEPH accreditation is very common to be accrediting board for public health programs. So some additional information that you must know is that they do accept international students and you, you need to complete your admissions application online. Now, their program cost is a little cheaper than the previous schools that I reviewed, and they broke it down by in-state versus out-state. So if you are an in-state student, so you live in Missouri, your tuition is roughly about $13,000 per year, whether if you are out of state, it's about $24,000 Per year. So that's cheaper than Yale, Columbia, the University of California, and the University of Washington. So that may be something you take in consideration. But even with this cost, it's not like it's a dollar. They do offer scholarships and financial aid. All right. So I hope this information was helpful to you. Those are all the schools that I have for this video. If you have additional questions, drop them in the comment section. Also in the comment section, let me know if these types of videos are helpful. And so like a week ago, I did a review on the different types of doctoral programs in the U.S. And so if you love these reviews, just let me know. Drop it in the chat box. I'll make sure to do more so that you have a very comprehensive overview of the different types of universities that offer these type of degree programs, whether it is in healthcare administration, a business administration with healthcare management concentration, or public health. I haven't forgot about my international members, so I am working on reviewing international programs, so make sure to turn on your post notifications. Also, like, subscribe, and share this video. And until next time, bye for now.